Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to SimTech channel in this tutorial on Raspberry Pi and Arduino programming. So in this tutorial, basically I'm going to take you guys through a few steps on how to build a Telegram bot, right? So we all know what is a Telegram. Telegram is basically a messenger application, just like WhatsApp. You can send text messages and photos and videos and so forth. So we're going to build a bot so which basically will run on a raspberry pi okay so the pi here will serve as a server for our bot so the bots will be uh built using python so python script and it will be running and be able to interact with uh and it will be running and be able to interact with the telegram applications in a way that it can send uh text messages it can send pictures and we will be able to uh, add in into our applications the ability to take pictures using our cameras from the raspberry pi and send it into the chat application uh with the telegram application so if you want to follow along this is quite a fun tutorial to follow and you're going to learn the basics of uh, raspberry pi you're going to learn the basics of python and combining them together with an arduino as well because later on in the program we'll be able to also link it to the arduino as we've been doing on the previous tutorial right now before we can uh, move forward please uh if you like this tutorial if you find anything useful don't forget to subscribe to simtech channel that will be highly appreciated and also as you may notice there might be ads playing on my videos so please be kind enough to watch the ads for at least 30 seconds that will be a great way that you're going to contribute right so before we can uh, get up and running with our right so before we can get up and running with our bots application so the first thing first is you have to install telegram onto your device so you've got options here you've got android and iphone so if you go into the telegram website here you'll be able to download the android application or for your iphone or you can download the mac or the linux operating system version right and also because we're going to uh, build the application to interface this telegram with our raspberry pi here so i'm going to have to install the desktop version of the telegram to run on the raspberry pi okay now the installation process of your telegram application is as simple as the whatsapp installation process okay so all you have to do is basically to download it and link it with your phone by entering your phone number and all other necessary steps to follow then you'll be able to have telegram running on your phone so once telegram is running on your phone then just as we do with whatsapp desktop application you can be able to scan the qr code and link it with your desktop or with your raspberry pi now if you want to install the linux version or basically the raspberry pi version so to get telegram application running onto your raspberry pi please go ahead and hit sudo apt install telegram dash desktop and then you hit enter now it's going to try to find the application and install it right it seems like i have it already installed so if you didn't have it installed you should be able to see the application successfully installed now to find it you have to come into the raspberry pi symbol and go into the internet and you'll see telegram desktop right here right now you can go ahead and link the telegram application on your raspberry pi with the one on your phone so just click on start messaging then it's going to create this qr code for you so you have now to go on to your telegram on your phone go to settings devices and link the application so right now you can see here this is where you have to click on devices if you can see so you click on devices then it's going to tell you well you need to link the desktop application so link the desktop device then you have to scan the qr code so right now i am scanning the qr 
code onto my phone so i need to scan the qr code right so after successfully scanning the qr and linking your telegram on your phone with the desktop you're going to see now this window now right now you can see that i've got some history here already because i've already tried to interact with the bot father now this bot father is actually what we're going to use to guide us to creating some of the settings that we need to do for our bots right so you my friend if you made it to this point that basically mean you want to go all the way so what you have to do in order for you to get the boat father like me here so this boat father as the name implies the boat father so he is going to help us to create another baby boat right as you can see here i've deleted my boat father then i'm going to go ahead and create a new boat father so let's search the new boat father there we go so now we've greeted with the famous uh, welcome message for our new boat father and i'm going to hit start okay so now comes all the options that we need in order to interact with the boat father so that we can create another baby bot so let's go ahead and click new bot so that we can create a new bot right so now we say okay all right a new bot how are we going to call it please choose a name for your course bot now this is basically what your bot name is going to be called like as you can see bot father here you can basically call it a name so i'm going to say arduino pi basically i'll just leave it arduino pi and i hit enter he said well good now let's choose a username for your bot it must end in bot like this for example tetris bot or tetris underscore bot so it must end with a bot so now make sure that the username you're going to select here does not exist uh onto the system otherwise it's going to reject it so let's say if i say pi underscore bot and i hit enter well it's going to tell me yes sorry this username is already taken okay so you have to select a username that does not exist so you can move forward so i'm going to go with raspy raspy duino underscore bot let's see if this one exists sorry this username is already taken okay let's try another one rasp duino underscore bot hopefully we're gonna be lucky with this one okay this one is also taken okay uh let's go with raspberry duino underscore bot raspberry duino underscore bot let's go okay done congratulations so this particular one does not exist so now we've created a new bot for ourselves now on this congratulation message there's something you have to take note here is a token that's have been given so you have a token access now this token access is almost like the code pass to access your bots and control it so this is the code that you're going to use onto the python application now remember this uh, token here as they say here it must be stored safely right so you must not let anyone have it okay now the one i'm using right now i can obviously generate new ones as i want simply by hitting start okay so we start the application again and from here we can basically uh token generate authorization token revoke uh both access token so basically you can change a new uh access token so if i say revoke you say okay well choose a bot to generate a new token now you can see i've got basically two bots here so i'm going to choose this particular bot here the one we're working now raspberry duino bot so i click on it then it's going to generate a new token for this bot now you can do this as many times as possible you want so that you can get a new secret uh token access for your bots 
Right, from here, we can do one simple thing here is to basically create a Telegram group where we're going to add this bot and myself that is linked into this Telegram application here. So just go ahead, just as you will create a WhatsApp group, so you're going to create your Telegram group that you're going to add your bots on. So I'm going to just say here, Simtech bots okay and then we say next now you have to go ahead and search the bots that you just created so mine was ras perry duino okay there we go so i've got my raspberry duino bot make sure it is the bot that you created and then you're going to say create the group okay so now when you check in the group here you got two members, okay? Now the members in the group are myself, Simtech, which who is actually online, and the Arduino Pi, which is actually the name, not the username, but the name of the Arduino Pi, which is the bots that we created earlier. Right. So now let's go back into our father here, the bots father. Then we need to select this token here, okay? So this is the token that I'm going to use for these bots here. So I select the token. So what we're going to do here is now we can hard code this token into our Python script and the application will work just fine. But if we want to create some level or layers of security, so what we can actually do is basically to copy this token file, okay? And basically create a file into our local uh, files into the Raspberry Pi server here and save it somewhere then we can just access it from there so that way someone who's looking at our script running he will basically not know where the token is stored or will not see it onto our code so i've got my terminal already open here so what i'm going to do is we need to navigate into some secret folder where we're going to store our token so i'm going to say ls a so that basically mean i need to list everything into this directory now you can see even hidden files are available. So now let's go ahead and access the dot local file. We, now remember we can store our token into any one of these folders, but it makes it more safe and secure if we can use a folder that is not so obvious for people. And generally the dot local is the one that is used. Now to navigate into the dot local, so it's cd dot local forward slash and then you hit enter. Now you are inside the dot local folder. Now from here, you can hit LS again to see whatever is in this folder. And let's go ahead and navigate into the share folder. Okay. Now we are inside the share folder and we could also be in the lab folder or library. Uh, we choose the share folder. Now into the share folder here, we're going to create our file where we're going to basically paste the token. Now to create our file, I'm going to call the nano editor. Then I'm going to say dot telegram underscore token. Okay. So we can just add a bot, the token bot. Or let's rather say telegram underscore bot token. Like that. And then we hit enter. Okay. Now here can go ahead and paste our token just like that right after pasting your token you can confirm that you've got the correct token then you just go control s okay and then control x to basically exit okay so now if you stay into the same uh, uh dot local and share if you hit ls you're going to see that your file that you just created that telegram underscore bot token is there with your token inside okay right it's still not very secure but at least it is hidden somewhere okay so now that all of that is done you can now go ahead and actually start coding so we're going to use our uh, guy here the python environment that we've been using so long so that is tony python ide so bring up tony python ide okay so you've got the counter reset program here 
let's go ahead and create a new one okay so we're going to create a new file right forward slash usr forward slash and burn forward slash environment and that is for python 3 that we are using for raspberry pi okay so now from here let's go ahead and start our code with open because we now want to open where our token is located right now from here you just have to make sure that you are able to pass the exact location where you created your file to store your token okay so what we're going to do is double quote okay then you have to go into your home directory because that basically where you store your token and that is on the dot local forward slash share forward slash dot what is the name of how bot again so that is telegram underscore bot token so you must not forget the name of your telegram but telegram underscore bot token like that make sure it is a correct name otherwise you're not going to access it so now you close uh the double quote then you have to give it a read permission okay with a small r day okay now after that because now you are calling the open function so you have to open it as something let's open it as bot bot token something like that okay and then when you come in here you can then create a variable you can say simtech bot is equal to bot bot token that read and then you have to only read the token so you must call the rs strip okay so now if this code can actually run let's let's give this code a test run okay but we have to print something so let's print something so what are we printing we are basically printing the variable that we just created which is simtech simtech bot something like that okay now let's go ahead and print this or run it so it's going to because this is the first time we are running it it's going to first try to to save it so we have to create another folder now we're going to call this telegram telegram bot okay telegram bot that pi basically okay so you can then save your file okay there it is and it ran very well and we got our um token already generated now remember you can always change this token okay you can always change this token by uh, calling the revoke token okay so now we know that we are able to access our token so what's next well what's next well next we basically going to make use of these bots by writing a script that will be able to send messages into the group that we created together that only have two members obviously you can add other members and you will have your bot interacting and being able to basically send messages and take snap pictures and also send it into the group so stay tuned uh look out for the next tutorial on simtech channel so that you can see how we're going to successfully complete these bots of ours until next time if you found this tutorial useful please subscribe to simtech channel and once again guys if you come across an ad on simtech channel please watch the ad for at least 30 seconds that will be much appreciated that will be your contribution onto this channel spray the word and share the message thank you for watching until next time cheers